welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Hey, here we go. We're cruising along quite nicely. Swing cruise and we're getting there. Um, yeah, no more new cases for WA, so sort of looking okay. They might, some of the guys might get off site this week and not have to do three weeks straight. Um, but yeah, it's sort of close to looking down the barrel again. If they do have to do it, it's going to be a little bit interesting. It might be the first time ever they're going to have to shut the mine. Because come Monday, uh, we'll have to definitely stop to swap back for Wednesday. So it's going to be interesting. A little close call here for the uh, company. So yeah, find out what's happening. Now, a couple of big releases. Uh, <clears throat> well, Obviously, if you've seen the video last night, I hope you got to see that. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, a uh, little unboxing, Yolanzi VL15. If you didn't get to see it, maybe you're just not subscribed. There's a little bell down there and a button. Hit that, hit the bell, hit the button, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is every day, Monday to Friday. And normally once a week, I'll put out uh, either a photo one or an unboxing or something a little bit more substantial and special so not that this isn't <laughs> um i hope you're well wherever you all are yeah look big uh big news last night um we had two big releases um we had the shimoto the brand new shimoto bag range big fan of them uh <clears throat> sort of i i definitely i've ordered mine so that was i can tell you that straight away no and i'm pretty keen on it it's been look i've got my newer waterproof bag, which I love. It's just a little small. And unfortunately, they don't make that backpack in a bigger size. And it has a rain cover. It's not, I wouldn't call it waterproof. It's probably a little bit of water resistance, but it's definitely not gonna last up to a shower if I don't have the rain cover. So <clears throat> as well as it's, it's done me a fantastic job and I love it to bits. For a hundred bucks, you can definitely go wrong if you're getting into photography and you don't, not going to be out in the rain you just want something to chuck in the car and carry your gear uh you're pretty pretty hard to beat that for the value i've had mine oh nearly two and a half years and it's still going strong so as bags go newer the newer waterproof pro bag is brilliant you cannot beat it i'm super stoked with it it's a back opening one which is the only camera bag i'd buy i would never buy anything front opening uh, because I'm out in the dirt, I'm, I'm, you're going to put your bag down. You're not going to be, there's not normally a rock or anything to put it on. Uh, so you're going to get your back covered in dirt if you've got to open it from the front. So <clears throat> that was one of my main features I had to have. Uh, and there are a few bags out there, the Peter, Peter McKinnon bags from Nomadic. Uh, there's a few others out there. I've looked at the Think Tank and all that. The Shimodos had that better look. Well, it looks like a better covering. It looks more water resistant. Um, it definitely looks like it can take a shower, which I was pretty keen on that. Um, it's got the fully adjustable for your size uh, of your body, so you can get that right. And that's important in the backpack. If you're carrying a lot of gear, uh, you've got to make sure you get something that's adjustable to suit you. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a stuffed back after a while. And trust me, uh, being a diesel mechanic my whole life and a baseballer, my back and body is trashed. Uh, there's nothing worse than having when your back goes. Mine's been sore for a couple of days and finally, finally the nerve got back in the right spot last night after a lot of work by me grinding it every day after work and getting in massage and trying to tune it back up. It's finally come good. So makes a big difference. You've got a decent bag. Now the other thing, the only problem I had with the new, as I said, was it was just a little too small. I was running out of gear, trying to fit the drone in two or three lenses, my camera, filters, all that sort of stuff, and then putting food and water and stuff. I just had no room. So I wanted a bigger bag. So I've gone for the 35 litre. Now this is the Adventure V2. And so you had this two sort of models with Shimoto. You've got the X bags, and then you've got the Adventure series. Um, this is the version two of the Adventure series. And it's got a lot of the technology they learned from the X series into the adventure series. So it's pretty much a pretty flash sort of a travel bag for me, uh, but nowhere near, it's not, it's not cheap, uh, but I think this is gonna last me a good five, 10 years easy. So I can definitely see the value in it. <clears throat> now it's live on Kickstarter. 
You've got three different bags. There's a 25, a 30, and a 35. I'll have a link down below so you can go through and get that. Uh, it is a bit of an affiliate link, so you'll sort of help support the channel if you are interested. But uh, everything I've seen on them, I haven't seen a bad review on these bags, which is always good. And that's from actual photographers that I watch and respect. Um, so you, like these guys use it all the time. So you can offer, they don't even talk about them, but you always see them wearing it. So you know if a, a pro photographer's running around with something on their back and they're not talking about it, they don't have to talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> they're not sprouting out and trying to get money out of it or anything like that. Uh, you know it's obviously a good bit of kit because they use it and they're using it personal choice. So look, that's a so it's got that sort of value to it as well too. Uh, two colours, black and a, like an army green, and was, that was a bit of a toss. It was like oh, and I figured uh, after a while I think the green looks really nice. But I think after a while it's sort of be like oh, it's green, whereas the black sort of black just always fits with everything. No matter what you're wearing, no matter where you are, black always sits and fits in with everything. And I've got a black bag now with my newer, so sort of, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm pretty happy with the choice. Um, and I think, look, they'll do really well. Um, as I said, they've done really well in the past, the other bags. The X series is more of a more of a rugged action sports type scenario, where this is more of a travel type scenario, if that sort of makes it. I think that's how, I think Ian, the the founder of the company sort of explained it. It's one's, one's like the X-Series, like a pickup truck, and the other one's like a SUV, which is not a bad little sort of uh, idea of how it all works, coming from the guy who's invented it all. So, yeah, good on him. Uh, he's done a great job, and, yeah, look, I'm, look, I'm really excited about getting it. I will obviously have an unboxing and go through all that with you uh, and get them, so it shouldn't be too long. It is a Kickstarter, so if you, the link down below will take you to the Kickstarter and then you can have a look and pick out what you would like. So look, look, really excited about that and I think it will do really good and it'd be nice to have a little bit more room in the bag. So very, very cool. Now the other big one was Freewell Filters. We did talk the other day about them having a release. Well, we finally found out what they are releasing <clears throat> and it's a basically a, well, it's a, magnetic filter system so it's not just one filter and a mag it's multiple filters and there's variable filters in there there's hard stop which i thought was really good so that you've got a two to five uh six to nine nd and they're hard stoppers so that's really good you get a circular polarizer in the kit uh there's also two types of mist filter and what else was there? Oh, just a, like a base filter. I'm not sure what they mean by the base filter. I think that's sort of like a UV filter that fits on there once you put the adapter on. Um, so yeah, look, it's a bit of a system. It's, it's a, what was it, how much? $400, I think. Yeah, $401 Australian. It gives you all of that system. So that's pretty good. They all stack on each other. Uh, the, I think the, VNDs flip around to give you the mist and stuff. So it's pretty little intelligent little small kit comes in its own little box, uh, filter carrying case. Uh, so it's got everything you need basically for ND filters for realistically, I'd say it's more for filmmaking and vlogging and stuff like that because it's got all that sort of stuff in there. There's no 1,000 NDs or 15 stoppers or anything like that but I'm sure you could add those in magnetically once they get them. And I think you can pretty much get them in by them anyway, magnetic, so they'll clip onto the front. So look, it's a great little system. Uh, obviously it's got all the scratch protection, uh, films on the front for water resistance and all that. So the water will just bead off. You're don't not gonna have beads of water on your lens when you're shooting. So it look, great little system. Now, for, I use Freewell for the Mini 2 filters and they've done a really good job, so I've been Definitely have no qualms uh, with their filter range. They work well. The, the polarizers work well in them. Uh, and you would have seen that with all the shots from down south. Uh, or every, every time a mini goes up, it's got a free well filter on it. Um, I've got, I run the polarizers with the NDs. Normally I run a 64 because it's pretty bright here in WA <coughs> uh, with the polarizer on. Uh, so let's, and I've had no drama. So I do have a 1000 and a 2000 ND. Uh, that I've got there that I've got to do more 
playing around with that I'd like to to get some more flow and stuff from up high. So I think I need that with some waterfalls and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool to get the drone up and then get that flow and stuff. So, look, I think uh, they'll do pretty well if you haven't got a set, if you've been thinking about NDs. Uh, this one's on Indiegogo. As I said, it's 401 bucks, and I'm pretty sure that's with freight. I'm not sure about the freight costs on top of that. Generally, I'd say you'd be pretty close. To, it's probably only going to be 20, 30 bucks. Uh, the Shimodo, going, running back to that, the Shimodo, the only thing I did find was a little bit uneasy was the freight for the bags was 150 bucks to Australia. So if you're ordering from Australia, just be aware the freight's another 150 bucks. It's like, oh, that's a lot of money for freight. Couldn't they have vacuum sealed it down and sent us a little tiny thing? It's That's a lot of money. I hope I don't get some... Because, like, it's nice to have a box and unbox and stuff, but to save 150 bucks, I'd be happy to have it rolled up and just and let it release for 10 minutes and let it air out. So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, other than that, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And the other big news, three big things, actually. I did forget one. I'm looking at my notes. Sony uh, on YouTube, there's a premiere there sitting ready, ready to go on July the 7th, a new camera from Sony. I'd say, well, the rumours are sort of straight away we're all the new vlogging camera that we did talk about, I think about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. So that's Z, ZV-10 uh, to take over from the ZV-1, the new vlogging type camera uh, with a, it's going to have a smaller sensor, and, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So I'd say that's probably what it is. Uh, there's been no sort of rumours about any big mirrorless pro cameras or anything like that coming out. But, uh, yeah, look, Sony just just smashes them out, just pow, pow, camera, camera, camera. You want cameras? Okay, we got cameras. What camera? We can do yeah, We'll put that on there and that's another camera. <laughs> they know how to punch them out. And they've been doing really well for the last few years. So, look, you can't blame them. Just they've got that. That's how they do it. And look, at least they when they release something, they just release it. They don't uh, tease you for six months uh, like the R three yet again. Another Canon one we're waiting for, and the uh, rumours are it may not be released for a long, long longer. So which is just crazy. We already everyone's got the camera running around with it, but they're not going to release it. It's like what the hell is going on here? Um, that's just insane. How could you let yeah, people use it, but then don't release it. That's like the ultimate oh, frustration for your customers. And I think that sort of it sort of worked well for about. I think last year was they brought that in, and everyone was starting to. I oh, would we'll just tease it, and we we'll tease it, and we we'll tease it, and that was fine, I guess, for a year. But I think everyone's sort of over that now, and just like, just if you're going to release it, just friggin' release it. Sony does it; they just release it, and then it's on sale the next day. And Apple sort of, you just get all the leaks for a year, uh, but that's not re announcing it. They just wait to announce it. Um, it's only the leaks that get out. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, that stuff, so we'll see how we go. But, yeah, Sony, July the 7th, uh, we will have a new camera from the Sony house. And that's about it. Another day. We've done it, dusted. You have a great day, great sleep, wherever you are, up and down and whatever you're doing. We'll be coming this way and that way. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Peace.